You know, people can say many things about the New Yorkers, but one of the things that they can't say is that they are played for fools. And they're not letting Harry and Meghan walk all over them. As soon as the judge put out his judgment yesterday, where apparently an intelligence uh, chief wrote to, <laughs> to, from New York, wrote to the royal intelligence chief in the UK, I mean, it has been completely debunked. It has been completely debunked. And that letter is not really a report. It's just a letter. There were no arrests made. There was nothing made. So where is this coming from? And why is this even important? Is this because Harry and Meghan, they need to prove a point that they were not lying when everybody knows they are? This is when I tell you that they double down. They double down on the lie and they use whoever they can to give them credibility. So let's explore this, shall we? This article is from the New York Post yesterday. No suspects charges pending in Harry Meghan's NYC paparazzi chase despite couples claims in UK court NYPD sources. Yep. A letter from the NYPD entered in a UK court case by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle claims that arrests could soon be made in the dangerous paparazzi chase they were involved in last year. But sources tell the Post there is not sufficient evidence to charge anyone. A British court, as part of its decision to deny the Prince state-funded security, cited a formal letter from the NYPD to London's Metropolitan Police that said wild paparazzi had been reckless and persistently dangerous in their pursuit of the Sussexes through Manhattan last May. The funny thing of it all is, though, Harry did not sue nor file criminal charges against those paps. If it had been a British tabloid, he would have sued everybody and we would we would still be hearing about it. He would have taken them immediately to the courts and to the, <laughs> to, you know, we, it, this would be a huge court case. Oh, you know, the British tabloids are trying to drive me and kill my mom, kill me like they kill my mom. But it, this is backward. This is their holy Bible. They don't mess with that. So there were no arrests, nothing. The paps even talked about it. And what is worse is that Harry and Meghan called them. Okay. But NYPD sources told the Post that the case has been thoroughly <laughs> probed by both the force and the Manhattan DA, and no charges are likely to be filed. And while the probe found reckless, unacceptable behavior by paparazzi, Harry and Meghan's security contributed to the conditions by not adhering to an NYPD proposed stop police sources said. Because, of course, Harry knows better than the police, right, guys? The Sussex reluctance to go to the planned stop with paparazzi was a contributing factor. Harry has been insisting someone be arrested. That requires evidence, which we don't have at this time. So listen to this very careful. The Sussex's reluctance to go to the planned stop, because they had planned this with Bagrid, where they were going to give them photos. So Bagrid was following them to the planned stop. They were not being led by the police. This is false. Harry and Meghan drove them with the, they were trying to jerk off the paparazzi after they themselves called the paps and told them to meet them at this planned space so they can get the photos they wanted. So instead of doing that, the paparazzi were driving around, following them, wondering what the hell was going on. Okay? That requires evidence which we don't have at this time, said another source, referencing how the NYPD and royals conferred during that incident about a planned destination where cops could control the traffic flow. The official letter was sent to the Metropolitan Police of London in September by the NYPD as part of the London High Court's consideration of a lawsuit Prince Harry filed against the British government, demanding that he receive the kind of tax-funded police protection while in the UK that he was stripped of after leaving the royal family in 2020. He wants all the perks and none of the responsibilities. Sounds familiar? We found the following reckless disregard of vehicle and traffic laws and persistently dangerous and unacceptable behavior on the part of the paparazzi during the night in question. The, le the letter allegedly read. What they don't say is that the paparazzi were following Harry and Meghan because they had been led to believe that they were being taken to a place where they both would get, where they, they wanted to be photographed. However, a subsequent letter also entered into the filing 
which sources say was sent in error by law enforcement officials to Harry and Meghan's security detail, created confusion by suggesting two suspects had been identified and could face arrest for reckless endangerment over the high-speed car chase. Again, this is all fishy. So there was a letter, that's the letter that everybody's putting, that everybody's talking about, but they're not talking about the second letter where they admit that it was an error. That is because they included the individuals, paparazzi, operated vehicles, scooters, and bicycles in a manner that forced the security team, which included an NYPD lead, lead car. That is not true. That is not true. Because Harry and Meghan were, were without a lead police, police car. So this is one of the biggest lies. They did not. They, they jerked the paparazzi around for almost an hour, and then they stopped in the in police uh, precinct, the 19th police precinct where they got out of the, the cars and they got into a cab and the police were coming by uh, answering uh, a, nine, a 911 call. It wasn't them. They were not being led because you can see, I can't show you here, but I've shown it before because I tried to look for this, but I couldn't find it. You can see that Harry's taxi is taking off in one direction and the police are turning to the right. We all know that. Okay. So that's a lie. They did not have a lead car to take evasive actions on several occasions and uh, a circu circuitous, circuitous route to avoid being struck by pursuing vehicles or trapped on side blocks. It continued noting that there was sufficient evidence to arrest two people for reckless endangerment. And this is why the second letter was sent in because that was not the case. Yet nobody's talking about that second letter. Everybody's talking about just with the one letter. On Wednesday, the high court declined to award Harry the security he wanted, but the inclusion of the letter produced by Harry's own lawyer, according to the Daily Beast, seemed to provide a silver lining of vindication for the royals based on lies. Just like Meghan Markle, who forgot to, to remember that, you know, oops, I did give information to Omid Scobie. The vindication has proven to be short-lived, however, and could instead back the ridicule the royal couple faced after the incident. The claims of an hour near catastrophic relentless pursuit by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi after they left the Women of Vision Awards Gala on the night of May 16th were laughed off by the media and New Yorkers alike, many of whom doubled, doubted the physical possibility of such a chase in the cramped and gridlocked st city streets. I think people in New York know if it was possible to have a car chase in New York, we'll all make it to the theater on time. Whoopi Goldberg quipped on The View, adding the couple's claims cut their credibility in half. I thought they were leaving the royal family for a quieter life. If flashballs give Harry flashbacks, I don't understand why he's going to award ceremonies, an anonymous friend of the royal family said at the time. I mean, I, I don't even know what to tell you guys picture doesn't look clear here but i don't see a terrified megan megan is smirking satisfied and doria is texting the paps yes after this horrific night according to harry there were no lawsuits not one lo lawsuit he refused to hand over the videos that the police requested to do the investigation and yes the paparazzi were chasing them for about an hour because harry and megan were jerking them around because they promised that they would meet him at a stop where they would be able to get photos. Because they didn't. The paparazzi were aimlessly following them, didn't know what the hell was going on. So, but yes, remember what I told you in my video in my lives yesterday? That they were going to pick on this and going to pick on this like crazy. Hmm. Look at Harry. Remember all the, the flash bulbs, you know, the, the click of the camera and the flashlights make my blood boil. Look at his face, guys. Look at his face. He's enjoying being the center of attention. He doesn't look traumatized to me. He doesn't look traumatized at all. He is a disgusting piece of human being. And I'm glad that the New Yorkers are roasting them and nobody's buying this BS. But because the judge included it as fait accompli in the, in, the, in the judgment as though it is a fact, even though it's not even a police report or anything, people, they feel vindicated and they're going to include that in everywhere in everything they have because oh the judge said that we were followed by the police no 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 you weren't <laughs> there was nothing wrong with that as usual don't forget to click like share and subscribe beautiful people